Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my favorite sunscreen that I like to use on an everyday basis, which are very lightweight and you can use it underneath your makeup and it won't break out your makeup. So, I have three favorites which I'm going to share with you guys and I'm going to apply it on my face and show you how lightweight it is and does not leave a white cast. First one is this D-Tan sunscreen from Aqualogica. This is a very dewy sunscreen. It says it is made with cherry tomato and hyaluronic acid. It removes tan and hydrates your skin. I personally like this sunscreen a lot and also it's very travel friendly. It has SPF 50 plus and it is PA plus 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 plus. You can see here and understand what each PA rating means. Also, it says it has unique water lock, which I didn't know. Um, blue light protection. All right, so this is my number one sunscreen to go all right ginger can you please move aside sorry for that guys so this is my number one uh, sunscreen to go and i'll apply it on myself and show you guys so i'm just directly going to apply it on my skin it has a pump as you can see I didn't have to blend it much and it very nicely blended into my skin. It's so lightweight, it does not feel heavy on your skin. You guys can see no white cast and it blended so smoothly on my skin. Wow! So this is definitely my number one. Number two is from Dot & Key. This one I love too. It has SPF 50. PA++ better vitamin D absorption so you get like a better uh, vitamin D taken into your body when you apply this no white cast UVA UVB blue light IR protection and it's a watermelon cooling sunscreen I'm going to apply this on my face and show you guys I'm directly going to apply this I'm just going to shake it a bit because it's been kept for a long time that's not watery. Okay, I took out a <laughs> generous amount. You can see guys, very lightweight. I love a sunscreen that I can blend very nicely onto my skin doesn't have a thick formula some of the sunscreen have such a thick formula that you'll just keep blending and it just won't blend also it will leave your face feeling white that's what we don't want also all these sunscreens i've used under my makeup so it doesn't make your makeup break out last but not the least this sunscreen from forest essentials i got this as a gift and i would personally never bought this spf but when i started using it it is actually a very nice sunscreen it has a very strong fragrance uh, which lasts up to like 15 to a half an hour but it is a sun fluid with tender coconut water with turmeric and basil leaf and it is spf 50 with pa plus plus so this is a 15 ml bottle it has a very nice cool packaging i'll show you guys the best thing about the sunscreen is it is very watery and applies on your skin very smoothly i'll show you guys how watery this is guys look at this look at that drop you don't you don't see that what you don't see such watery formula in the other sunscreen so this is the thing that stands out on the other two sunscreen but oops, that's the thing I like because it's too light also it is all organic so it has a very strong smell as I mentioned before so I don't know I personally I don't like the smell because it's too strong for me um, but it does vanishes after like 15 to half an hour. No white cast. Amazing formula. I love it. The best thing about this is that it's too watery. 
and I love that in a sunscreen. It has to be watery to blend in very nicely and feel lightweight. These are my three favorite sunscreens. Let me know if this was a little bit helpful to you guys. Let me know which one was your favorite out of these three sunscreen and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!